so a lot of people have been asking about the tools I used to do this valve adjust. So here's a quick review. Uh, okay, first of all, the shims. This is the kit that I used for this particular project. As you can see, it's labeled KTM shims. Brand is not as important as this diameter. This is the actual size of the shim. As you can see, these ones are for an older Honda, Yamaha, Suzuki, 7.48 millimeters. And these ones are for a new Honda dirt bike. So yeah, the 8.9s are for Aprilia. As you can see, they come in a bunch of sizes, marked from 1.72 millimeters to 2.6 millimeters, which we know is about 101 thousandths of an inch. And yeah, it does help to be able to do everything in metric, but while I was using this, it's actually quicker to read this because it's in Imperial. I normally use these. These are metric micrometers, but it's a little bit quicker and easier to read this. So that's why when I was ordering some other stuff on Amazon just the other day, I found this. Very nice, very accurate, very resettable and reads in metric and imperial. So yeah, I guess in future I'll be using this. So I would always use one of these instead of a caliper because these are not quite as accurate. It's, uh, yeah, that's just a personal preference really. I mean, it would be okay, but I would prefer to use this. And of course this little stand helps quite a bit. So that's the measuring of the shims. Of course, this great Aprilia tool, which doesn't quite fit properly, I got from AF1. I'll be making one of my own shortly. Uh, once I get the CNC mill up and running again, software is coming along nicely. Did a few upgrades, got some hardware upgrades as well. So yeah, I'll be using my used cylinder head as a model to draw up the tool. You can even, I don't think you can see it on the camera, but just by looking down here, I can see that it's not straight. It's crazy. One of them just doesn't, one of the, this hole doesn't match up. Uh, so the biggest bonus that I found was using these go, no go feeler gauges. These were incredible. This is the exact clearance for the intake between four and six thousandths of an inch, which is 0.1 to 0.15 millimeters. So you just put it in. If this one fits, then that's a good sign. If the one next one doesn't fit, then you're perfect. Simple as that. You don't need to measure maximum and minimum. This one gauge gives you both. So if this one doesn't fit, then you're out. And if this one does fit, then you're out. If this one does and this one doesn't, then you're good. Really simple. So I'll put a link to the Sears website. I bought just bought these at my local uh, Sears, yeah. Perfect. So, highly recommended. Okay, what else do we have? Yeah, the magnet came in handy. Um, I used this to align, <coughs> excuse me, align the cams after I was reinstalling them. Just happened to be the right diameter. I needed a pin, and I was about to throw it away. Happened to notice that oh, that looks about the right size. So I put it in the sprocket hole, and yeah. It, was a nice tight fit so it was perfect um, but anything will do as long as it's the right diameter it has to be a tight fit or the cam will move slightly so as long as it's a tight fit it's good and this one because this one goes in the front bank this one goes in the rear bank because of course on the front bank you've got a frame rail right here so you have to be able to move it in a tight gap and this was the locking tool for uh, fixing the crank in position uh, just happened to have a bolt it was the right thread, it was long enough but it didn't have enough threaded uh, space on it so I just ran a die down there and added some threads put a little bevel on the edge and it locked into the side of the crank perfectly so I would rather use a, a spare bolt than buy the $150 tool that uh, 
Aprilia cells may or may not fit. Same with these other two. So there's the special tools. Cost uh, nothing. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, these were my old feeler gauges. Won't be using them again in any time soon. Uh, so other than the standard pliers and sockets, wrenches, um, yeah, standard mechanics tools, that's about it. So I'll put links to everything in the description. And oh, yeah, the degree wheel. This came in very handy, but it's not critically important. I needed it when I was timing my RC30, so that's why I bought it. And wouldn't you know, the bolt that I made for the RC actually happened to fit the RSV4 as well. So that was a nice little convenience, nice little coincidence. So the way this works is in the manual, you line up top dead center on the rear left piston, so I put it there, and then crank the engine 150 degrees to find the hole that this bolts into. So put this in, line, put the marker here, crank the or, uh, rotated the crank this much there and then boom this could just go straight in and then on the other side it worked as well or should I say on the other side for this so yeah this was convenient but it's not strictly speaking necessary you could do it you could find this the hole for this tool just by slowly rotating the crankshaft and watching it'll be a little more tricky to do but yeah not strictly necessary Anyway, uh, that's about all for now. Uh, there's a couple of other questions that I will be answering shortly. Um, so stay tuned and I will add some more videos. Thanks for watching.